know you have done a lot of uh, work with genes and nutrition in terms of disease. Could you comment about, you know, this new GMO type of thing everyone's been talking about? Is it a healthy thing or is it something to be concerned of? Well, GMOs, as the name, as the acronym indicates, is genetically modified organisms, obviously involving a, some change in the gene structure, if you will, right. of the plants that are being altered. Uh, that's quite distinctly different from the possible genetic alteration of our own genes. It's a very different story, so let's not confuse the two. Right. Uh, GMOs, of course, are uh, plants that have been bred, interbred. Genes have been changed in order to accomplish a certain desired uh, property. Maybe the genes have been changed so they're more resistant to, to pests. Maybe they've been changed in order to grow bigger or have better storage uh, capacity or something like that. Right. Yeah. In, in theory, that stuff, those kind of attempts sound okay uh, and quite noble at times for people who do that. But what happens is it's very, very naive and superficial because the genetic, the genes that we have and the genes that plants have they're a very large, very large number, and it's not one gene usually that causes a, a change right. all by itself. It's usually a cluster of genes. And even if we narrow it down to maybe one or two or some, some simple genetic change, let's say, and we get a real, real effect, even under those circumstances, uh, when that kind of change is made, we're ignoring the contribution of all the other genes. So, it, unfortunately, we're making very simple assumptions about what genes are. So, we make a change, we get the result we like, and we get excited about it. You know, the plant grows faster, it does this or that, or something else. But the, the thing, the worrisome thing about that, because of the complexity of genetic activity, mm -hmm. the worrisome thing is that we're also very likely to get unintended consequences yeah. in the future. And also, unfortunately, too, those consequences may not become apparent from until many years, uh, you know, beyond or in the future. Yeah. At which time, then, if we see something pretty deadly, and it might be causing even some epidemics of one kind or another, it could be too late. And so, with that understanding, I, I don't like uh, I don't like that whole effort. Yeah. Of producing GMOs. It's, I'm, I'm just uh, opposed to it. Right. Go down the organic path, perhaps. Yeah. I mean, I, I think uh, I, I'm very much in the camp of believing that nature had a few uh, uh, eons of yeah. time <laughs> to fashion life the way it has occurred. Absolutely. And for us to come along and, you know, in a microsecond of time, according to the, yeah. the, that scale, and think we're going to change something, you know, against nature. That's ridiculous. Yeah.